behavior management uh, activities are very important in terms of kids having structure. And even when kids have been hurt, it's important not to back away from consequences. Uh, kids feel more secure when there are consequences. And so sometimes if a, if a child has been hurt, they, the parent may feel like, well, I don't want to put those consequences on the child because I'm afraid that they may, you know, they've already had a hard time. I don't want to do that. The problem is they don't feel secure when you back away from the consequences too much. Uh, you know, even infants feel more comfortable if they're constrained a little bit. You know, when we hold them tightly, it makes them calm down. And it's the same way with teenagers. You know, if they have consequences, it helps. But in addition to keeping the consequences normal, um, I think it's important for the parent to help the child to realize that the hurt may have been something that they didn't create, they didn't cause. But even if they've done things that they they shouldn't have done, you can have consequences and still say to that child, I love you, you know, and nothing's going to make me love you any more than I ever did, and nothing's going to make me love you any less than I ever did. And so that unconditional love, despite the fact that you give consequences, is important. Uh, most of the work that I do with families and with children is to try to help the child to perceive themselves differently, though. You know, it's, you know, it's like putting themselves, in, putting somebody else in their shoes, uh, seeing it from a different perspective. Uh, because when we see ourselves differently, we change. Uh, you know, and, and a lot of times it's a matter of helping the parent to perceive the child as being more vulnerable than what they had perceived them before. They may see them as being a behavior problem or acting out or rebellious and not see the child's hurt. And if I can help that parent to see that this kid is hurting on the inside, that helps. Now, I don't tell them to back away from the consequences, but in applying the consequences to be compassionate. It also helps sometimes if the parent can share their own hurt, you know, to be able to say that to that kid, yeah, I got mad at you, but the reason I got mad was because I felt like you didn't care. Or the reason I got upset was because I'm scared. I'm scared you're going to get in trouble. I'm scared that you're going to have something happen to you that uh, uh, you can't recover from. And it scares me as a parent. And when it scares me, I get mad. But I'm really scared. And I think a kid will react much more cooperatively to a parent that they can see the fear than they will a parent who's mad.